Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, we will be installing these door knobs and also door pulls. Um, we're going to install some in the horizontal position, some in the vertical position. We're going to go over how to mark um, and try to make your life easy because I've been doing this for a long time, but I remember first starting off, I made some horrible mistakes. And so we'll uh, make sure that we avoid those mistakes. So stick around and we'll get right into the video. And these are older cabinets that was recently painted and we're doing construction in this bathroom. So they're going to need to be touched up. But anyway, door fronts um, typically are attached to a drawer. So you're going to have, and typically it's out of half inch plywood. Also don't mind all of that because, hey, these things are old and we're going to reline them. But anyway, um, and then you have your door front. And so your screw needs to be long enough to go through your drawer front and your actual drawer. Now, what we'll be installing is these knobs here that comes in like a pack at um, Home Goods. And if you look here, it's not long enough. And so this is the first thing we'll do is show you how to overcome that obstacle. Now, most drawer fronts have screws in them or they're tacked and you can take these screws off or untack them and uh, take the whole front off and install your knob that way and you know notch out here whatever the case is but we're going to install this in place so first thing you want to do is just take a little bit of painter's tape or masking tape and kind of like put it where you think the drawer the knob is going to go I do highly recommend that everyone that's into DIY get you a basic project calculator, which will um, allow you to basically measure inches and feet and things of that nature. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you don't rack your brain trying to do fractions. The width of this is nine and seven eighths. Now, what's nine and seven eighths? Well, you can think about it in your head or you can use your calculator, nine inch and seven eighths divided by two equals they say five but it's really four and probably 15 sixteenths <clears throat> but we're just going to go with five right so we're going to make a mark at five on this other side we're going to make a mark at five and it's a little bit in between there then also your height looks like five and a quarter Okay, so we're gonna go two and five eighths, right there. And so this little box, right in that box is dead smack center. Now, your thread, now this one has it attached to the actual knob. Some of them you will have screws, sort of like this, that goes from the back of the drawer front to and screws inside of the knob. But this one has it already attached. Right, and so you want to use a bit that's a little bigger than your actual screw. Now, if you're concerned about busting out your drawer, then you can do a pilot hole smaller and then come back with your bit. But I'm just going to go right in because I know it's something else I need to do for this situation. I want to make sure that you drill right there in the middle. Right, try to hold it level as possible and then just drill right through. Take that tape off. The problem is that this, when I put this through the front here, you don't see it. It's not long enough, right? So there's a fix for that. And what you do is that your hardware, you're typically going to have a washer and a nut or whatever it is that you use. And so that's a washer. And this is the nut that goes on it. I need to have a drill bit that's a little bit larger than the washer, okay? Drill bit that's a little bit wider than the um, diameter, it's a little bit bigger than the washer. Now remember there's two layers. There's the first drawer front layer, I mean the drawer layer, half inch, and then there's three quarter inch drawer here. So I just want to drill with the bigger, the bigger bit, drill through just the first layer. Only the first layer. <laughs> You can 
sticky. You can feel it. Now, if you're concerned about going all the way through your drawer front, you can take this off and take this off and then drill through. That way, you know you're not going through your drawer front, but you can really feel it when it goes to that first layer. I'm going to put my knob back through. Take your washer, stick it through that hole. Make sure that you have a nut driver the size of your nut. Stick your nut on there. Okay. You take your nut driver and secure it. And don't go Rambo tight because you end up stripping out your knob. But that's pretty much well lit. Because this knob actually has this design on it, I want it horizontal. So I'm just going to take my level, put it on there. It says I need to go that way just a little bit, just a midget. That's good. Then I'll just make my final tight. And that's it. Please do not over tighten your knobs. And next we are going to do the um, pull. Okay, with this one, we just want to put it, put the tape where we think. And I use the tape just so I won't, um, this is dark. I'm trying to figure out where the pencil line is at and all of that stuff. It's just easier to do it that way. All right. So we're going to measure this. It's 28. It's 27 and 7 eighths, but half of 28 is 14. Uh, 14. Fourteen, and right in between these two marks is the middle. Next, you want to measure from your hole to your hole. I don't know nut. I don't know what you call it, but those two marks. You get what I'm saying. So sometimes, because the way tape measures are, I'll skip ten inches and make that ten one. So we got. Looks like eight and 13 sixteenths. So you want to go half of eight, 13 sixteenths. Again, with this handy dandy calculator, you don't have to be a, a math genius. Eight inches, 13 sixteenths, divided by two, four and seven sixteenths. Four and seven sixteenths. I put that mark on there, mark that, and the other one was 8 and 13 sixteenths. Mark that there. All right, now you want to find the half of the top and bottom. We already said it was, what, uh, 5 and an eighth, so 2 9 sixteenths. Two and nine sixteenths. Now, before you drill, just double check, right? So from the corner here, that's nine and a half. From the corner here, that's nine and a half. Take your pool, whatever you're using, and line it up to make sure that those are in line. And they are. If you want to see how to, I installed this tip out tray uh, hinge, which is a bear, uh, you can follow that video. I'll put it on the screen right here. And that's that one. And finally, for vertical, typically you want to measure at the top of your, if you got a raised panel, then right where the ridges are at, not necessarily the ends, but right here on your flat space. If you have a shaker style or a flat style cabinet, then you would measure from corner to corner. So you want to put your hinge right in the middle. Now, it's a personal preference whether or not you want to put your knob, you know, up here in the middle, you know, whether or not you want to put your pool up top or in the middle, that's all personal preference. 
Yeah, so if it's in the middle, then you would do exactly what we did here, but just vertical. And if it's, um, if you want to take it up or down, then again, you just measure the first hole and, you know, mark your mark, however you want to do it. But it's the same process. I talked about previously in the video how to avoid having blowouts when you drill through, such as this. I'm going to show you two ways. One way is to put a piece of tape on the back side as you drill through. The tape might, in most cases, keep the wood from blowing through. The other way is to actually use a smaller bit and pre-drill. Now you're going to go through the back where that hole came out. See, even with the even with the smaller bit, it still blow out a little bit. So then you take your your regular bit. Go through just a bit. That way they keep that side clean. And then you go through the front. The second way again is to put tape on the back. still blew out a little bit. You see that? Even though put tape on. So as you can see the better way is to use a smaller bit and then go through the back and then through the front. And of course the fronts won't have any blowout. Adding pools and knobs to cabinets can make a dramatic difference this again this bathroom is in the process of getting remodeled I painted the cabinets first because I needed to reclaim my garage space but I am going to touch up the cabinets and also down here this right here I want to poll the audience would you put the knob in the middle of this drawer or from this space to this space to this space being even so that knob would be more up here where these spaces will be even. Let me know, leave a comment in the comment sections as far as what would you do. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video. I'll be uploading all of the videos that's um, going on with this bathroom remodel, um, a remake, you know, however you wanna look at it. Yeah, so there's still a lot of more work to do, but um, I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. Until the next time. Hey.